Tuesday is I choose me. Oh, you know what I need? Some water or something to drink. My throat been dry. Can somebody give me some water? I choose me. Actually, right. give me some water. It's Tuesday night. I choose me. And I'm going to give some time for our movement to tune in. Hey, Aunt Karen, thank you for tuning in. It's Tuesday night. I hope you've been choosing yourself this week. I hope you've been loving on yourself this week. And I hope you've been walking closer in your purpose and figuring out what it is you have for your life. What it is you want for your life. Where are you trying to go in your life? Thank you. Say hi. Essence wants to say hi. <laughs> now go to bed. Bed. What is a bed? <laughs> but yes, thank you for tuning in. Thank you for my deal. You didn't find a song yet. I'm telling you. You kill, you're killing my mood. I'm trying to get some music so that I can vibe a little bit before we get started with the I Choose Me. Oh, is the volume on? Hey, huh? No. What they got to do with dreaming and vision? Hey, hey, Brooklyn Renee, thank you for tuning in. Thank you for tuning in, and I hope. Uh, you have been choosing yourself this week. I heard you've been busy celebrating, dancing. So shout out to you for walking in your purpose and your gift. Keep it up. Keep it up. And happy Mother's Day to everybody out there. I hope you had an amazing Mother's Day. I hope you uh, felt like the queens that you are. And I hope that the people around you showed you and just loved on you. Uh, have to do a shout out to my kids. They were very impressive this week. So sending love to them for showing up and showing me some love on an emotional level love. this year. I live the life I deserve. Bless. 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 So our topic today is are you committed to your vision slash dream for your life? And so that's the question. Are you committed to your vision or your dream for your life? Hey, Gigi. I'm going to call you Gigi. That's my Gigi. Hey, Gigi. G Adora. Thank you for tuning in. Oh, you got inducted to the Honor Society tonight. Congratulations, Brooklyn and Renee. Everybody, do the little stars in the hearts for Brooklyn Renee for showing up got, um, in the Honor Society. Good job. Good job, honey. Good job. Good job. And so y'all know we always start with the motto, which is I pledge to embrace who I am today, love who I was yesterday, and inspire who I will become tomorrow. And so once again, we know that's what the movement is all about. That's what the journey is all about. That's what your purpose is all about. Being able to love yourself from right where you are because you are enough. You were born enough. And so no matter what you've been through or what the obstacles have been in your life, it does not take away from who you are and who you were created to be. So embrace the journey so that you can walk in your gift. Now we're going to start. You know I like to go over the definition before I go on. So we're all starting from the same place. And so the three, um, since the topic is are you committed to your dream or vision for your life, we're going to go over vision dream and committed and so the first word is vision this is a noun and is the fa uh, faculty or state of being able to see synonyms is sight observation visual perception and the second definition is an experience of seeing someone or something in a dream or trance the synonym of that was illusion and manifestation the other word is dream which is a verb this is the definition. It says, contemplate the possibility of doing something or that something might be the case. And the synonym for that is think, consider, contemplate, and conceive. And the last one is committed. Feeling dedication and loyalty to a cause, activity, or job. 
wholeheartedly dedicated. And so the question is, are you committed to your vision and dream for your life? And so the first thing you have to ask yourself is, first of all, do I know who I am? First of all, do I know what my purpose is? <laughs> and so if you're asking yourself that question first, what you want to do first is start dating yourself. Remember, the process of I Choose Me hashtag no more excuses is about falling madly in love with yourself all over again so that you can unwrap the treasures that are inside of you so that you can walk in your purpose and your dream. Now, the gift about a vision is that it's yours. Nobody gets to see through your eyes. Nobody gets to walk in your light. Nobody gets to understand your story. And so the vision belongs to you. And so in order to get a vision that belongs to you, you have to know who you are. Because your vision and your dream are definitely in line with who, your purpose and what you were created to do. And so again, I have to ask you, are you do you have a vision or a dream for yourself? Is there something in your life, something that when you think about, you would do it for absolutely nothing, for free? Like, right here, this dream, this vision, the movement, uh, me doing inspirational poetry, all those things just is are gifts of mine that happen to make a difference in other people's lives. And so, it costs me nothing, but what it offers is priceless. And so, I'm asking you, have you found out what it is in your life that makes you priceless? What it is in your life that gives you that uh, identity as a unique, one-of-a-kind, something that you have to offer the world that nobody else can give or do. Now, the key to keeping your vision and your dream clear and on one path, because you don't want to be jumping from place to place to place. You got to know who you are, you got to know where you're trying to be, and you got to know what you want for your life. And so in order to do that, you got to show up for yourself. You got to know who you are and where your dreams lie and what the purpose is inside of you. And so what helped me, let me show you, I bought my vision board today because I had two separate vision boards. The first vision board I did in 2008. And I'm going to move it around so you guys can see it. What I realized was in my first vision board, which none of these things happen to have come true, but what I did notice that in my first vision board, what I did was I forgot about me. My vision was about everything and everybody else and what I wanted them to bring to my life for what I thought that I was offering to the world. And so I had to reconsider the journey and the dream I have for myself. And so I created a new vision board. This vision board I created in 2012. And let me show you what's so powerful about the new vision board. The new vision board, if you notice in all of these areas where you see red, that says done. So on this vision board, when I made myself the focus, when I made myself the dreamer, when I made the vision mine, I was able to achieve so much more. Because what I want you to understand is that in order for you to achieve you got to first be walking in your own life. In order for you to receive all the blessings that, the, that your dreams and your vision have for you, you have to definitely know who you are and where you're headed. And if you don't have a clear plan on where you're going in your life, it's going to be hard for you to get a dream or a vision for your life and stay focused. Because the gift of the dream and the vision is staying constant, never changing, and always staying on that path. So... My I Choose Me hashtag no more excuses. The vision came in 2012. I just recently bring it to pass, what, four years later? This is five years, but four years later, I actually came out, and in the new year, I kind of started in January. But right before the new year, before 2017 hit, I just got this to come out, the I Choose Me. The vision has been here forever, but what I had to do was God had to continue to work on me. And he had to continue to mold me. And then he had to make sure that I was sure about where I was going. And so sometimes we're on these journeys and we want so much and we have so much vision and we, and we wish that we could walk in our gift and we wish that we could just live the best life we want, but we haven't done the work. And so the work is being able to, first of all, know what it is you want for your life. Is whoever's listening, um, G Dora, everybody, is there is do you have a dream for your life? Is there something that you're working on? Is there something that you have planned for your life that you're working toward? Is there a, a desire in your heart that has been there from you were young? I'm gonna tell you something amazing. One of my first vision board parties was with my girlfriend Lisa, amazing woman. She um 
She is an entrepreneur. She lives in Florida. And she was just an amazing spirit. And so she was turning 40. And she wanted me to do her vision board party with her friends. And what was so amazing about it is when we sat there and everybody began to think about where they, what they wanted and where they'd been, it became a very emotional experience. Because what I realized is that in life, we as women or we as people get so caught up in our everyday that we forget about us. We forget about our gifts. We forget about our strengths. We forget about our titles. And we forget about who we were created to be. And so what happens is along our journey, we forget about the things that we dreamt of when we were younger. We forget about the desires of our heart. We forgot about the vision that we had because it didn't happen. And the reason why it didn't happen is because we didn't put enough work in and we wasn't consistent. You have to understand and embrace that in order for you to get the desires of your heart, you have got to be consistent with yourself. And so that's the come I choose me is so important because you have to center yourself and love yourself from a place that allows you to uncover and rediscover everything that's inside of you. You have to be able to chip away and oh, and light that candle inside so that you can begin to make your vision come to life and make the dream that you see for yourself become way more clearer. Because the vision gives you a blueprint of where you're going. And the dream is what uh, elevates you and inspires you to know that the best is waiting for you at the end of that journey. And so you have to show up for yourself, you have to love yourself, and you have to be committed to what your story is. And so back to what I was saying, at that vision board party, what was so amazing was there were women from all ages. We had younger women and we had women that went as old as 60 something years old. But when, when everybody stood up, and spoke about their vision and their dream, they began to cry. And you know why they began to cry? Because somewhere along the journey, they forgot about themselves. Somewhere along the journey, they forgot that although we had roles and titles that made us important, although we had roles and titles that made us be the best at that that we can be, what we forgot to do was show up for ourselves. What we forgot to do was remember that we were put here with a divine assignment. And that divine assignment is something that the journey teaches you. It's something that your gift will represent. It's something that you give to the world and you leave it everywhere you go unexpectedly because it oozes out of your soul. It oozes out of your being and it becomes so much more of a nurturing and so much of a gift to the world. And so the question is, have you brought your gift to the world yet? Have you tapped into what that amazing thing is? And are you ready to really walk in that vision and stay committed? You remember when we said committed means to be, to, 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 love on it. Committed means is to become one with it. Committed means that I'm going to give my everything to this thing because I believe in it. I believe what it represents. I believe what it is. Um, Gigi said at 60, I want to practice yoga. I need to incorporate consistency with that. Absolutely. You got to do whatever it is, whatever those little, uh, things in our head that tell, that, um, inspires us, those little moments, those little things that make us want to step outside of our box. We have to commit to that as well because you never know what that experience of going yoga, how many different people you may meet in that room and how many people that you may touch because it's all about touching people. It's all about shining your light on people. It's all about being a blessing to somebody else. And so in any area that you can go in where you can shine, any area that you can go in where you can bring love to somebody, that is you walking in your gift and in your purpose. And so on your journey of trying to discover who you are and on your journey of trying to figure out what your vision and dream for your life is, it's up to you to get to know yourself first. Because when you do that, you open up a door of so many possibilities. And so by me being young enough, and um, being blessed enough to figure out very young my gift of poetry, I realized that it grew, in, grew into so many different areas. And so my inspirational poetry, because my husband says all the time, stop saying poetry, you write songs. So I congratulate him for honoring me on that level. But the gift of me being able to write inspirational poetry that is life changing to people is something that I was able to tap into early. And because I decided to stay focused on that, because I saw, decided to uh, commit to that gift, it grew into me being able to speak into people's lives. And so now I do 
soul coaching. Instead of life coaching, I do soul coaching from my heart to your heart, from my soul to your soul. And it opened up that. Then I did a book and now I have a movement and then, and everything starts to stand more because when you take care of one thing and you nurture it, it begins to grow. And so I want to ask you, have you found that one thing, that one thing to plant? In, your seed, in the seed of who you are so that you can begin to water and you can begin to grow it and so that vision that you have for yourself can someday come to pass and so that you don't have to wait until later to stand up and cry about what you miss because you forgot to show up for yourself. What I want this movement to be about is that we stop not showing up for us. That we commit to who we are. That we commit to our story. That we commit to our purpose. And that we commit to the vision and the dream that's inside of us. And if you have not yet found that and you would like to find ways to tap into that, please email me at ichoosememovement at gmail.com. And I promise you, together we will open up that door of that dream. We will continue to work on whatever it is that we got to work on so that you can walk in your best life. So that you can bring your peace. Because that's what it's all about. Bringing your peace and being a gift to the world and so at this time I'm going to share my inspirational poem for the week original poem of course and it's called get ready it's time to prepare yourself so your dreams can unfold because until God thinks you're ready it's your destiny he holds you must be ready to receive all that's in store so when he releases it unto you it will be valued all the more Begin to prepare every aspect of your life you can control. Always remember you are the master of the dreams that you hold. The question you must ask, where am I not being fulfilled? Better yet, what parts of me are still longing to be healed? For preparation is all about cleansing and knowing who you are. To acknowledge your insecurities are the keys that get you far. Are you taking steps to show our almighty you are ready? That you can characterize the path that you're on to be known as steady? This means bitterness does not flow through your veins and you don't hate on another. Because you have embraced and accepted who you are realizing we all need each other. The key is to know preparation is for you. So when dreams do unfold, you know just what to do. You have a stride and a purpose that no man can take. You have a humbleness in your spirit that nothing can shake. Because you have prepared for this day when your life should take flight. And the dreams that you know goes beyond just sleeping at night. For your pre preparation has met opportunity and this cup called life is beginning to flow. So the more your cup runneth over, the more you begin to know. Never forget all that it took for your cup to begin to spill. Because with a strong foundation and loving heart, God will continue to give you new cups to fill. And so, what I'm telling you is that if you're ready to fill your cup so that you can receive a new cup to fill, it's about you cherishing who God created you to be. It's about you spending time and loving who God created you to be. It's about you embracing the journey of everything that you've been through because there is a message in your um, story. There is something that you can give to the world. And until we stop being ashamed and until we stop being embarrassed and until we stop being uh, just allowing life to dictate who and where we are, we are going to begin to stay in these box. We are going to begin to to not grow in our life and in our purpose. And so what I want to offer you this week is that you spend a little bit more time with yourself. Tomorrow, a homework assignment, the first homework assignment. Spend 10 minutes with yourself. Look in the mirror and tell yourself all the wonderful things that you see in yourself. Tell yourself all the things that you want for your life. And you look yourself in the eye and then you tell yourself, I deserve it all, I want it all, and I am expecting it all. And so when you start expecting stuff, you start to show up in ways that you've never shown up before. When you begin to expect stuff, you, 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 you tend to walk with a different stride and a different walk because you know that something is coming. You got to live your life like something is coming. And in order to do that, you got to love who you are. Love, I can't stress enough, that loving you to the core 
to the core of who you are. It's what is going to open up the treasure in which God created you to be. It's what is going to open up the doors for you to just bring light to everybody in your path and begin to walk in a purpose-driven life that allows you to reach that supreme moment of destiny in the right moment. Because success is when preparation meets opportunity. And so I need you to prepare for the opportunity so that the success that you dream and the vision that you have can come to pass because you deserve it. You deserve it. As long as you're alive, as long as you're breathing, you deserve to walk in that light. You deserve to bring that light and you deserve to stay out of the shadow. Um, my mother said, I am fearfully and wonderful made. Um, marvelous are thy works. Absolutely. And spend 10 minutes loving on that self. Please, everybody, do that. Do that. Do that. Do the 10 minutes. And like I said, if you don't have anything to say to yourself just yet, start with the motto. I pledge to embrace who I am today love who I was yesterday and inspire who I will become tomorrow. Just start there. Say that every day to yourself until you start thinking of new things to tell yourself. Until you start thinking of new things to walk in. Until you start thinking of new ways to show up in your life and in the journey of who you are. I cannot stress enough to you guys how walking in your gift and how walking in your purpose just brings you so much joy. It fills you up. It allows you to be multifunctional because when you're pouring out, you're continuing to get back in. And so even though I um, am a wife to an amazing husband, even though I'm a mom to some amazing kids, even though I'm a, uh, amaz a friend to some amazing friends, even though I'm all these things, most importantly... I am a teacher. I'm a teacher because of my experience. And when you realize that you too are a teacher, you will start to walk in your life. Because something that you've been through is meant for you to teach somebody else. Somebody else is in class ready to learn. So are you ready to teach? Are you ready to show up and teach the people on your journey in which you have a purpose for? So think about that. Remember to love yourself daily. Remember to show up for yourself. Remember to do 10 minutes a day. 10 minutes a day until next Tuesday when we see each other again. I want you to pour into yourself just for 10 minutes. And if you get into it and want to do it longer, please, by all means, do that. But it's time for us to begin to date ourselves again. It's time for us to begin to love ourselves again. And it's time for us to begin to continue to walk in the gift of who we are. So at this time, I open it up for any questions. Like I said, you are open to ask me anything because, like I said, I do soul coaching. So don't leave no questions on the table. I'm telling you, she, she'll help you. She will help you. But uh, if you don't have any more questions, what I want you to do is hug yourself. If you're sitting there and you're looking, I want you to hug yourself. And I want you to tell yourself that you are worthy. You are special. You are enough. And you have a purpose. And we are waiting for your dreams and your vision to unfold so you can be a blessing on the journey of who you are. And so I just want to say that you are enough. That I love you to the core of who you are. And that I love me so it allows me to have an overflow to love you. And so show up so we can show out in the journey of life. Show up so we can support each other. Because when I begin to love me and you begin to love you, then we can celebrate each other wholeheartedly because we are embracing the fact that who I am, cannot take away from who you are and who you are don't take away from who I am. But if I know myself and I love myself and I embrace myself, who I am can uplift who you are and who you are can uplift who I am. And so let's change the stories that we tell and let's celebrate each other. Let's support each other and let's all just flow in a place called love because love grows everything. My slogan, love grows everything, so love yourself first. So I just want to thank you so much for tuning in. I want to tell you that I love you all, and thank you for being a part of the movement because it means so much that you want to show up every Tuesday and begin to love on yourself a little bit more. And so once again, we'll stop, stop with our uh, motto, which is I pledge. Come on, everybody, in the house. I'm expecting that you guys are yelling it from, the, from your rooftop in your house that I pledge to embrace who I am today. Love who I, who I was tomorrow and inspire who I will become. My husband just messed me up. 
I pledge to embrace who I am today, love who I was yesterday, and inspire who I will become tomorrow. So in order for you to walk in your gift and walk in your light and bring your peace, you got to love yourself to the core because you are special enough. You are enough to be everything that God called you to be. It's just time for you to show up for yourself and prove to yourself that you're worth it. You are worth it. I love you. And until next Tuesday, 10 minutes a day, tell yourself how special you are. Date yourself all over again and commit to who you are so that you can commit to the vision and dream that God has placed in your belly. It's time for you guys to start giving birth. It's time out for holding these babies. Enough is enough. It's time for us to go into birthing season. So I'm ready for us to continue to grow so that we can start birthing all these babies that are in our bellies that are waiting to change the world. I love you guys. And until next Tuesday, I choose you. I choose you. So choose you too. Hug yourself. Love yourself. When you're talking to yourself in the mirror and you're saying whatever it is that you want to tell yourself, love yourself through it. Hug yourself through it. Until next week, I choose me. Hashtag no more excuses because I'm enough.